we got to go on to get into this. An incident happened at a schoolhouse. One more again. But, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is about a coach. This is about a coach. A coach who grabbed a student, found with loaded guns, claimed self-defense. Y'all understood what I had just said right there? They trying to get rid of a coach who found loaded guns. And watch why. Watch this. Look, 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 look. Oh, like, there you go. Tonight, supporters have rallied around a local coach who is facing possible suspension. Tri-Cities coach Kenneth Miller found a gun in a student's book bag in August. But it's what happened during that confrontation that now has the school district pursuing disciplinary action. Fox House Deidre Dukes joins us live from Tri-Cities High School in East Point. And Deidre, you spoke with the coach and the people supporting him. Say, Willie, I'd be at work on the fort lift watching and listening and watching my 12, my 3, 6, and my 9. I appreciate that right there. Y'all, let's get the thumbs up popping. Shout out to Mary for the $15 cash app. I appreciate you. Here we go. That's right. The coach said he saved lives that day and his supporters call him a hero. But schools or sick officials say he crossed the line when he put his hands on a student. Oh, that's what happened. An internal investigation conducted by the Fulton County School District found police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's account of the August 20th incident involving a student in possession of a loaded gun at Tri-Cities High School. We were on our way to an outdoor pep rally that day and we got noticed that the kids were planning on doing something at the pep rally. The athletic director says the school principal called him to her office that day and told him to investigate reports that some students had guns on campus. And throughout during that process, we located guns. They located guns. The student was planning some and they located guns because they got the tip. And we saved lives. But Coach Miller is facing possible suspension because of a confrontation with an unidentified student who it was later confirmed had one of the guns in her book bag. One of the guns in her book bag. Things turned physical when the coach confronted the girl. She smacked Coach Miller's hands, knocking his phone to the floor. That's when Miller says he grabbed the girl, fearing for his own safety and others. The coach's supporters call him a hero. I'm okay with him standing up for those children. What I'm not okay with is him being railroaded. Thank because you. at the end of the day, teachers are put in very uncompromising positions to take care of our children. But the school district wants to take disciplinary action because he admitted grabbing the student. Because he admitted grabbing the student. You see the video the way he grabbed the student there. But just like you said, the student... The student hit him first. The internal investigation found Miller's conduct was unprofessional in violation of both the Fulton County Schools Board Policy and Georgia Professional Standard Commission's Code of Ethics for Georgia educators. Miller's attorney says the district first moved to terminate him and then changed course and now wants a 20-day suspension. Miller says all teachers should have the right to defend themselves. Teachers are put in a very, very precarious situation when they have to defend against guns or defend against students that are going to attack them. Now the coach is fighting suspension. He says he is eager to return to work. I like a low cut. A low cut tight, ain't it? Um, but listen, look, 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 look. They, they was going to fire him. The one who helped save the day because he put his hands on a student. One of the same students who had a gun that bought the gun to school to harm possibly, possibly other students and staff. What, 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 what's going on in Georgia? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Say so they gave the security guard, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gave the security guard for doing nothing at a school shooting when he did something, he is still getting in trouble. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Make your mind up out here. Say, so, um, 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 I heard some, some, I saw like two other articles about Brittany Griner. I might talk about that right there tomorrow if I can find the things that I had done um, read out here. But listen, let's run it back real quick. Suspension. Tri-Cities coach Kenneth Miller found a gun in a student's book bag in August. 
But it's what happened during that confrontation that now has the school district pursuing disciplinary action. Fox House Deidre Dukes joins us live from Tri-Cities High School in East Point. And Deidre, you spoke with the coach and the people supporting him. That's right. The coach said he saved lives that day and his supporters call him a hero. But schools or district officials say he crossed the line when he put his hands on a student. Cro I want y'all to really understand this right here. Um, I crossed the line because I done grabbed somebody who hit me. And it, that's what's up. Um, but y'all more focused on me grabbing a student. R remind you, a student who bought a gun to school. If I wouldn't have did nothing at all, which is found the gun or guns as plural, then y'all would have said that we not on our job. An internal investigation conducted by the Fulton County School District found police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's account of the August 20th incident. I'm going to tell y'all why he went through any of this right here. Because that's a female. It don't look like one. That look like a whole boy. But maybe because of the cameras blurry and it, we really can't see. Fulton County School District. Look like a fella. Police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's. Why is a female acting in this nature? Why? Count of the August 20th incident involving us. She ain't been taught properly about putting your hands on a adult because society don't hold them responsible for putting their hands on adults. Student in possession of a loaded gun at Tri Cities High School. We were on our way to an outdoor pep rally that day, and we got noticed that the kids were planning on doing something at the pep rally. Shout out to the students who said something about what was going to happen. Say, Willie, I sent you the video of our lighter hue brother popping his neighbor in, in in the snow a few times. I haven't seen it even on Patreon. Oh, which I'm going to have to look that right up. I appreciate that. The athletic director says the school principal called him to her office that day and told him to investigate reports that some students had guns on campus. And throughout during that process, we located guns. We located guns guns but because that's a female student could listen if it was a male student there would have been consequences but because it's a female i promise you this is why they were trying to go so hard shout out to la la 200 live for the four dollar super chat i appreciate you and we say lies but coach miller is facing possible suspension because of a confrontation with an unidentified student who it was later confirmed had one of the guns in her book bag. <laughs> Things turned physical when the coach confronted the girl. Because they think that they boys. Society got them thinking that they boys out here in these streets. That's why you see, and it's a disrespect of dog you players anyway that's going on out here. They have no respect for male figures they have no respect <laughs> especially for darker hue players they don't it's a problem out here and i just want to say shout out to the community for backing him up hold on hold on let me let me yeah huh talk that man talk. A hero i'm okay with him standing up for those children what i'm not okay with is him being railroaded because thank you listen listen if because of what he did he 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 if it has to be consequences, suspend them for a week. I, I, I put a player on vacation. It's nothing. If you just have to do something. But you have to look at the overall. The overall, they saved lives that day. He should get an award. All, all of the staff that was involved should get some type of award or something. They should be praised out here. And they should have grabbed more children than that. Bringing guns to school, trying to harming people. Now, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. I wonder if they're going to say something about the student that he grabbed. We found the gun. I wonder if that person going to be expelled and um, sent to prison. 
You bring a gun to school, you need to be put on vacation, vacation. You need to be put at the, you need to go to the resort. That's the jails or the prison. You putting lives in danger. And again, as soon as it would have popped off, they would have been questioning staff. Why was why wasn't y'all paying attention? I promise you that. This is a big problem. This is a real, real big problem. So basically, what you're telling staff to do is don't do nothing. Or, or, or do something, just don't put your hands on one of these good churn. That's what you're telling people, huh? That's what's up. Listen, we got to move on. We got to.